Hiya lovelies, so we're doing another progress report on my van build. So if you watched my last video, you will know a lot has changed visually, so to speak. We now have a ceiling in, which we didn't have before. I've got some upper cabinets, which I'm gonna go into through a little bit more detail on them in a little while. And I have the, my back doors, yeah, nearly finished, not quite. I'm just gonna give you a look at them first because I did mention in my last video about what I was planning on doing with them and I managed to get it done. So I'm gonna give you a look. So if we can see, I've carpeted the whole edges with four-way stretch carpet and don't know if we're going to be able to, there we go. Basically, it's not a great view. I do apologise. I need a longer tripod. But <laughs> these here were, i done templates out for them basically to fit in around all where the locks and everything were. Um, I covered them with stretch, stretch, what did I cover them with? No, I didn't. I covered them with four-way stretch carpet and I put the back in, in sort of like a contrasting colour, just to give it a little bit more of a visual kind of appearance, I suppose. But they are practical. So in here is like a little shovel. I don't know, your phone, your tablets, your spare pair of pants if needed, <laughs> your socks, <laughs> whatever. But so yeah, I'm really, really happy with them. They're really, really sturdy. And yeah, I just, I don't know. It's just like one piece is nearly finished. And that to me is amazing. On the bottom here, I'm not going to reveal just yet. You'll see in another video what's going on with them. I haven't been able to do too much with this one down here because I don't know whether you can see. I have these wires and all sticking out all over the place. And basically, these are the pull catches that allow this handle to work. But it snapped inside. Um, I do have a new one of them. I do believe it's up there in, like, you know, the, the space unit. <laughs> but... Um, I have to try and figure out, I've got to drill out rivets and stuff like that and then try and get some suitable bolts to put in a new one. So that's basically it. Um, I do have, I know this, there shouldn't be like a mirror in the inside of this fan, like a rear view mirror, but I do now have one that has like a reversing camera and stuff on it that I've got to figure out how I'm putting, putting wiring in. Hands up, um, that should have been done before I started my upper cabinetry but it wasn't <laughs> because I just went bull on ahead and yeah um there's no video clips of me doing anything since my last video two weeks ago because I just literally haven't been in a mindset to kind of do that I've been very sort of closed off in what I like to call Linsland and you know, this fan build for me at the minute is more than just creating a dream. It's keeping my head balanced, I suppose, well, until you start throwing things and screaming and shouting and lots of sailor sort of potty mouth coming out because things maybe aren't going right. But at that point then, I just kind of take a step back, might think about things for a few hours <laughs> and then get back on. But basically, lovelies, let's see. As I've already said, the ceiling's in and I'm absolutely delighted with it. I don't know if the camera's going to pick that up there, but I do have six LED kind of spotlight downlight things put into the ceiling. All the wires are hanging out at the back at the moment because I have to wire everything in. Um, I've bought my batteries, um, which was a little bit of a nightmare because there seems to be a shortage of everything at the moment. So... That was kind of a little bit of a rush panic job to get the batteries. I couldn't get the ones I originally wanted, so I've had to go for second best, but I'm sure they'll do their job. Um, if you've watched other videos, you'll know I do have some solar that I'll be putting up on the roof. Now, I just want to talk a little bit, if I can show you it, show you it, the roof vent cover. Now, basically when all my insulation and stuff was in, it was too short to go up so there has been a little bit of jiggery pokery gone on to make a little connection to go up through a longer piece so you can open and close it that's that no, i just i keep having to say about them because i am so happy with the way they've come out so far they're not finished but they're not perfect by any means or stretch of the imagination but you know i did it and i'm happy and it's just to be able to stand back now and go, oh my God, you know, they're lovely. I think they're lovely anyway. 
I'm sure everyone else is going to have their own opinion. Um, one thing that got me was I used to be a professional painter and decorator and I never believed in using mask ta masking tape before but I had no choice in this because there was absolutely no way with all the curves and dips and strips and strips <laughs> that I was going to get um, you know a, a near enough neat job. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring it in and I'm just going to explain a little bit about some cabinetry and stuff I've got going on um, a bit more probably about the upper units I will be attempting to do a, <laughs> a bonus video of me actually making another one because I'm going to be doing another one. Well, I'm going to turn you around now at the moment and I'll turn you around, bring you in, should I say, and explain a little bit more. Right, so we're in from this side now and I hope you can see me all right. But basically, if I haven't got my shoes on, I can actually stand dead flush in here, which is great. <laughs> But I want to show you these. So you can put yours proper. Now I have three openings on this one here. Um, doors, I don't know, I'm still working on that one, but I will get there. I've got an idea in my head, but we'll see. These are still a bit sticky actually, and I'm already covered in paint. <laughs> hey, um, I did use rough finished wood. So, you know, it's not going to be perfect. It was the cheapest option available. After all, I am still on a budget for this build, believe it or not. But yeah, basically I've got the framework. I'm going to be doing a video for when I come across to do the bigger one that I'm planning on doing down there. We'll show you that in a minute. So what I'm intending for these is, these two here are above the bed. So storage, clothes, women's bits, whatever and then this one down at the end is kind of like the sink's going to be below it and then the stove so to speak which i'll talk to you about in a minute is going to be over that side so this one here i've kind of <laughs> now this is a good one i measured an area that would fit a box of my favorite tea bags in yeah okay so you know whatever i've reinforced it so it will take tea sugar you know all them wee bits and pieces so that's what that shell's going to be used for and then as i said two for clothes miscellaneous you know whatever bits but this side then we have two big ones and again this is above the, where the bed is so again clothes whatever your bits and pieces we'll see um <laughs> we'll see how i get on with making the door fronts and if that doesn't quite go to plan um yeah i'm going to find some really nice boxes to shove in there now i don't know those of you that are eagle-eyed are probably what is that in the cupboard um <laughs> that was another one of the mistakes i made when i was just kind of bullying ahead um basically it's the light that turns on when you open the back door so i've got to reroute that out I'm going to have it put on sort of like that side there. So now what's happening, I'm going to try and move the camera down. Oh, sorry about that. But anyway, we'll bring you to maybe where are we going here. So this here, lovelies, is my unit that I've kind of pre put together. I'm going to say um, I had some three by twos cut them in half to make them sort of like more whatever and stable um here's going to be the sink now i am regretting again i went for a big sink because i want to be able to do things like have a good wash in it wash this monstrosity of hair that i've really got to, you know take the scissors to at some stage or you know i don't know the strimmer but <laughs> i did if you watched my we're just we're just bringing you around it's like a bit of a tour of the unknown here um if you watched my oh christ what was it the van build hall you will see that i was very very kindly gifted um a lovely oven and it's got two burners on the top but i've been sort of informed that it's not really that safe to use inside the space because it's not got some sort of thing on it i'm not really sure i know lots of fans do use them so i was a little bit um and an and i've had to question this a few times so i basically made out a frame that would fit that oven into 
Um, since then, I've had no choice but to buy a double burner kind of, um, you see them in all van builds really, just a double burner gas hob. It hasn't come yet, I'm still waiting on it. I only ordered it, I think it was yesterday. So I'll show you that when it comes. But um, yeah, uh, it is going to give me a little bit more counter space, I suppose, and a little bit more storage now underneath. But yeah, it, it, it annoyed me a little bit. But what I might do is I might put that on a run out, maybe under the bed. Sort of like, you know, if you're outside, you can have the back doors open and do bits. We shall see. Excuse me. So, yep, sink, hob. Um, obviously, then your water collection's gone on, going under there. So what I'm going to be using is I'm going to be using two 25-litre um, containers and then i'm going to have a spare one ones for sort of your gray waste or whatever you want to call it and then the other one for washing up and stuff um i would safely say yeah probably gonna get scolded for this one i'll probably buy bottled water for when i'm in here for things like drinking and stuff like that because i am a bit funny when it comes to water sounds a bit odd doesn't it yeah so what else is going on right i'm gonna put use Hopefully that way, you're not going to fall off a step. So this is the end of this cabinet. All across here, I haven't finished in the window or anything yet because this is all dependent on how well <laughs> my upper, I'm going to call it a shelving unit because I don't think I'm going to have any of it kind of closed in, so to speak. Um, but I'm running one the whole way along, but I'm going to make it a little bit shorter and yeah. So it's just kind of there for, I don't know if you want to store some books up there or bits and pieces. There will be an electrical point up there as well for things like charging phones and stuff. I think that's the plan. Electrical's got me on this one a little bit, so it has. Um, I know my batteries are going sort of like underneath this unit here. This is my frame for what's going to be my sort of couch area. You could quite easily fit three people on that with no problem at all but i know the first part of it's going to be batteries because my leisure battery is underneath the driver's seat second part of it hopefully if all my measurements are correct uh, the portaloo is going to be going in there lovelies mm -hmm. with probably the shiwi you know and then under the third part here if the space is there i will be putting in the diesel heater if not then it'll have to go under what's going to be going here which i'll leave to your imagination for now and you can see but yeah that's basically it um i am sorry i haven't got video clips and stuff of me doing much you know um in the last two weeks but yeah it's just been it's been a bit difficult for a few reasons and yeah my head's just not been there either so i've just been as you know i've just made lots of mistakes and bits and pieces in here but i've rectified them when i fixed them and it's coming along lovely and it's, you know, it's nice for me to be able to sit in here and just go, I've done it. Well, I haven't done it yet, but yeah, it's getting there. And it's always that one step closer to being finished and to being on the road and being able to, you know, go off for a little bit of freedom and some, I don't know, well, I was going to say stealth camping, but it's not very stealth, is it? Because, you know, there's windows and roof hatches and there's going to be solar, but yeah just a nice little space and a nice little dream and it's coming together really well and i'm happy with it so lovelies make sure to give me the thumbs up really does help me out um if you're not subscribed here maybe consider it um i don't know if i'm everybody's cup of tea but you know <laughs> there's, there's a few of you and i really do appreciate all of you that have stuck around continued to watch and, you know, I know that my content is only every two weeks and I'm sorry about that, but I do hope soon I'll be able to uh, up my content a little bit. Maybe some, not, maybe not so much with the van build side of things. Um, or let me know down below if you'd like little kind of short videos on bits and pieces I'm doing every so often. You know, if I could do that, hopefully. <laughs> But yeah, I'm going to be putting, so I'm just watching, there's a big dragonfly just flew past the windscreen. That was quite cool. Um, yeah, random. But uh, yeah, there's going to be like a picture clip show coming up 
of sort of like the bits of progress going on to see where we are up to here so lovelies thanks for watching look after yourselves take care stay positive stay strong you know head up chest out all the rest of that jazz <laughs> and i will talk to you all hopefully very soon in my next video so stay safe take care bye for now